talk to you about uh, the Speaker of the House's trip to Taiwan. The Chinese obviously are angry about it. They are expressing their anger in a very obvious way. But uh, is, is it really the Speaker's trip uh, that caused this uh, exercise from the Chinese military, or are they using it as an excuse? Well, I think China, of course, has, has made it very clear uh, that it intends to uh, put uh, Taiwan at risk. Um, and so you know, we have been seeing you know, their, their military buildup, their nuclear weapons buildup, all of which is put and, and uh, directed at trying to hold America at bay so that they can take Taiwan. What's unfortunate here is that Nancy Pelosi, by going, which we, I, I, she should have gone, we, you know, certainly I think many people support, I certainly support her going, she made it about China. Uh, everything that she said was, it was attacking China as opposed to the promotion of Taiwan. And I think that's why we're seeing such a strong response from China today. What should the United States do uh, regarding the situation? I mean, is it is it too late to send and sell more weapons to Taiwan, for instance? Absolutely not. I mean, this the lessons that we learned from Ukraine are that, you know, you've, you've got to give them the ability to defend themselves. And that means that they have to have weapons early. Uh, the administration was very slow to help Ukraine against Russia. Once they've started doing so, you could see how they could defend themselves against the invasion. Similarly here with Taiwan, as we get weapon systems in, give them the ability to defend themselves. You know, Taiwan is a country, you know, that is a thriving democracy. Uh, they're certainly going to defend themselves and we need to assist them in doing so. So why why is the U.S. so, um, I guess, reluctant to express support for Taiwan? Uh, it is a democracy, uh, but we maintain the one China policy, essentially throwing all of our uh, weight toward uh, the communist Chinese. Why? Well, you know, there's complicated history, obviously, between the, the two. But I think, you know, we as a, as a country, we've been very clear uh, in our support for Taiwan and as our support uh, for Taiwan as a democracy. Uh, certainly, you see both with Russia and China, uh, their authoritarian regimes that are attacking democracies, China attacking Taiwan, Russia attacking Ukraine. These are certainly conflicts that the United States has a role in. Uh, and I think uh, in, in this instance, uh, we need to be seeing how we can support Taiwan before it's too late.